Hello and welcome to this presentation that highlights the new features offered by the cryptographic modules of the STM32U5 with respect to STM32L5. This table sums up the differences between STM32L5 and STM32U5 cryptographic peripherals. Regarding symmetric crypto, the STM32U5 supports a new module called Secure AES or SAES in addition to the regular AES module. It incorporates a protection against side channel attacks or SCA, including differential power analysis or DPA. SAES has the possibility to load secret keys, a boot hardware key or BHK, and derived hardware unique key or DHUK by hardware usable but not readable by the application. This transfer is done through a dedicated bus connecting the flush option bytes in which the key resides and tamper-resistant secure backup registers. SAES has the possibility to share keys with the regular AES module. Regarding asymmetric crypto, the public key accelerator, or PKA, is based on a faster core DPA-resistant memory. The PKA RAM is accessed through a wider data bus. 32 bits in the STM32L5, 64 bits in the STM32U5. The RAM size has also been increased from 3,576 bytes in the STM32L5 to 5,336 bytes in the STM32U5. A tempered detection can reset this RAM. Hash functions are implemented similarly in the STM32L5 and STM32U5. Regarding the true random number generator, the STM32U5 supports a new feature. The RNG is transparently used for side channel protection, feeding random seeds to the PKA and SAES modules when they're enabled. And finally, the on the fly decryption module, used to decrypt instructions and read data from external memories, is implemented similarly to STM32L5 and STM32U5. Thank you for attending this presentation. You can now refer to the presentations that detail the operation of the STM32U5 cryptographic modules, symmetric crypto, asymmetric crypto. The presentation on enhanced anti-tampers can also be useful.